And the last video I will do today is dedicated to what refer himself as a, uh, and they refer to one to me as, and uh, I had no choice other than to see him as my grandfather, because my grandfather passed away when I was just 40 years old. Um, 40 years old? Yeah, 40 years old. So it's going to be dedicated to the, what some people say, founder of the pharmaceutical company, Kirka Novomesto. Yeah. Um, to put it plain and short, Boris Andrianich was not the founder of any kind of Kirka Pharmaceutical, for one thing. The one who founded founded Kirka Pharmaceutical was myself, I, and other than that, nobody, to put it plain and simple, nobody. Kirka Pharmaceutical was a company which was financed Serbs prayed that I would say was financed by Josip Brastito because they wanted shares from Kirka Pharmaceutical. No, it was not financed by Serbs. It was not financed by Josip Brastito. But the markets and foremost I was available to the Kirka Pharmaceutical because of Josip Brostito. Okay, we can say that Josip Brostito authorized uh, Kirka Pharmaceutical executives, all friends, personal friends from this home here, every one of them, with my father as one of the first people who worked at Kirka Pharmaceutical next to Boris Andrianich. Josip Brostito borrowed them, me, I, yeah, myself, disgrace. And that's how Kirka Pharmaceutical came to life. This is the truth about the Kirka Pharmaceutical. There was no Kirka shit pharmaceutical before I came on a stage. Kirka Pharmaceutical was yet another pharmaceutical company of many companies in Yugoslavia, pharmaceutical companies in Yugoslavia that probably had no no future whatsoever without the proper sponsorship, without the proper technology, foreign technology, foreign acquired uh, connections which provided to the Kirka Pharmaceutical technology, proper technology, more advanced technology, uh, including medications. And it didn't happen once. This shit went on since my birth in 1971, December 1971. Kirka Pharmaceutical was upgrading itself and have heavily, heavily re relied on Western technology to, to, to gain edge over other Eastern European companies to be more competitive, so competitive enough to play importance uh, in a sense of greater and greater development and, of course, markets in Eastern, throughout the Eastern Europe, especially Yugos what used to be Yugoslavia. Uh, early days of Kirka Pharmaceutical involved me personally and Boris Andrianic traveling to Belgrade. Boris Andrianic was just a frequent guest of Belgrade. Whenever I went to Belgrade, whenever they took me to Belgrade, well, not exactly whenever, but more often than not, this individual traveled to Belgrade. Josip Broz Tito was the man in Yugoslavia who also would come here to the city of the Novomest, of course, and began to consider Kirka Pharmaceutical as my major success. He says, that's you. That's you. That's your company, Kirka Pharmaceutical. This is you. This is your success. This is you. This was yet another company 
uh, that was completely financed. Everything went through exactly this MK Ultra case. Uh, Boris Andrianic so became unpopular in Belgrade, believe it or not, at one point, and it was very, very difficult for him to associate. I'm going to make this very short. Uh, difficult to associate with me because he considered me like a grandson in his way. Uh, I was a real founder, not only of the Krka Pharmaceutical, but I was a founder also of his own pharmaceutical store, Andrianic store in the city of the Novel Mesto. Andrianic family had a pharmaceutical store in the city of the Novo Mesto, which completely depended on me, I, myself. I and nobody else. No fucking Andrianic. Zero Andrianic. Everything I. Andrianic total zero. Zero. Zilch in Hebrew, as they say. Zero. Nula. How the fuck that happens? Well, whenever I traveled with Andrianic to Belgrade, it was two things that happened. One thing about Yugoslavia was a socialist country. In the Western Europe, they say it was a communist. But it was not completely communist, you know. In Yugoslavia, if you were a party member, if you were, um, like one thing I have to say, Boris Andrianic was an extremely important member of the national resistance during the World War II in the city of the Novomis. So this was actually a big man who supplied and, and placed his head at risk together with my grandfather uh, to supply partisans during the World War II with uh, medications, literally stolen medications to, from his pharmaceutical store straight to the partisans. Oh, you're going to say, but this is not you founder. Yes, me founder. I, not my grandfather, not Boris Andrianic. Boris Andrianic started the store. This was an old family store they had. But that's all there was, a store. Ha, uh, during the so-called Yugoslavia, Greater Serbian Chetnik State, without the connections, uh, as well as mine, the next day they could kill you, they could shoot you, they could throw you in a jail, you rotten, blah, 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 blah. you don't exist anymore. You turn into bones here. And with me, Andrianic literally would continue to go straight into the nest of the where they kill people if it was just enough they didn't like you or whatever. With me. Boris Andrianic, with my attitude, he learned from me, um, literally ignoring even, even took further the whole thing, uh, listening literally my advice, ignored orders from, I just say, people who surrounded Josip Broz Tito, uh, and it had proven to him to be extremely beneficial and afterwards when Dita realized that this is going in the right direction super financially beneficial uh, in Yugoslavia whenever we went to Belgrade we were taking orders from the people uh, there were two companies we would take the orders one was the Kirka Pharmaceutical where Boris Andrianic, according to his own words, had to go. Boris Andrianic was my friend, personal. He was really like my grandfather because he knew my grandfather and everything. Like I said, I don't know. It's very difficult, very complicated because of what I'm going to state to you, a relationship that we had. Um, there was not enough money in a, a family Pharmacy, family pharmacy, anything that came to family pharmacies, everything was retarded. You only could have whatever government allowed you. But an Andrianic store, Andrianic got the opportunity to also get the stuff from outside of the country. He, he started, to, he, he got the opportunity to sell the stuff inside of his store because of me, because of I, because of my connection through Josip Brostito, 
that other stores, other companies, wherever the fuck it was, it was some also some somebody also in Sarajevo. I have to learn more about this stuff. That they also interacted with me, just like Andrianich company. There were like uh, some other pharmacists that know about all this. I am. I'm not saying this like this. There's other people, pharmacists from Yugoslavia, from Bosnia, from Croatia that participated and used the same kind of technology, me, I, to get uh, stuff from outside and have ability actually to sell, which is not really from a major suppliers you're talking about. This is, you know, you heard about Eastern and Western block and this and that was not a thing to do, it was not an easy thing to do in Yugoslavia, you just don't fucking sell unless it's approved through the Belgrade, everything Serbia, Belgrade, otherwise yet nothing, it doesn't happen, the most regulated country in the world in certain aspects, not exactly, Soviet Union was more, probably, I don't know, where I was, there was a corruption, even in the Soviet Union, there was a bloody corruption like you wouldn't believe, I mean, in a fucking soprano style, mafia totally. And so, there was not enough money, still, there was not enough money inside of the, the, you know, he had a wife and he had some workers in there and it was just enough, enough for his family to sell, you know, whatever they were, you know, just to keep entertained inside of that, uh, inside of that store inside of that pharmaceutical store he had some lady i think uh he had a mara that was his wife and he had but he had some lady that worked a very very long time i think in that store in that pharmacy store in the city which i'm going to demonstrate you on this video here in a little bit um i am pissed off i am pissed off i am pissed off because what you're about to see this family uh, so ungrateful to me for everything and everything they have truly is thanks to me uh, that's unfucking unbelievable unfucking unbelievable we're gonna learn about this video uh, actually even contemplated through my case to grab the Kirka pharmaceutical and uh, privatize something that they have no connection whatsoever to other than being employee, being, yeah, being executive, being an employee, and being actually, when it comes to Boris Andrianic, uh, Boris Andrianic did very good through the half of his career, and through the other half of his career, he was a screw-up. Boris Andrianic was a screw-up through the half of his career. Uh, Boris Andrianic got into the fight with me, uh, because I, my character was um, was just based on brainwash, and it was not com compatible with what he was teaching about the national uh, World War II resistance values, which is fucking insane to teach somebody that should never be in this kind of situation on how to view the world a little bit through the torture. I mean, very, very unsuccessful in a sense of turning me in the right direction, but very, very successful in screwing me up badly. And very, very successful in finding a good excuse, alibi for himself and for his family, um, you know, to continue to con artists, basically, through my case. Well, free, free load itself through my case. Very successful at that point. Uh, he was uh, pushed aside by whose name was Marco Bulls. Marco Bulls was the one who kicked him aside because the time came when in Belgrade, believe it or not, they no longer wanted to see Boris Andrianic. They wanted to kick him in the ass. And that's because there was another side of Boris Andrianic which embraced me like his grandchild despite everything. Because in the real time, uh, I was completely contrary to what went on with me during MK Ultra. For me, it was normal about partisans and that he was partisan and the, all these people that were coming from the Communist Party here, uh, top leadership uh, in this house, 
go with us fishing and stuff like this and me fishing with them and me doing everything for them loving them uh, I was extremely lovable person like this but during MK Ultra, I was the most obnoxious person in the world you possibly can imagine I was a son of a bitch in a sense of what they did to me they created out of me a little beast that would however not put up with uh, you know with anybody you know this is just so 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 controversial that is unbelievable so as much as he loved me in real time he couldn't sit with me anymore in the boat because all this shit <laughs> uh, pile up in his head about MK Ultra and me sitting next to him and treating him like a grandpa and loving him and he loving me uh, to the degree that his grandchildren were envious of him and me uh, that basically he no longer could take this the pressure mounted to the degree that he wanted to get the fuck out of MK Ultra is what he claimed but like I said uh, I, he was a con artist because he surely enough could have done something about it and he had not done nothing about it to help me out really um, no longer wanted to go to Belgrade in Belgrade they wanted to kick him because he no longer wanted to expose me to what was evidently was they gonna kill me in Belgrade it was just a matter of time and so he no longer could put up with this pressure and would in he told me he witnessed this stuff this stuff was so fucking bestial that Andrianic Boris Andrianic had not seen stuff like this in a Nazi Germany during the occupation literally that would be done to the people now he is seen with his own eyes as one of the top people from this World War II liberation all decorated actually uh, deserved for the World War II victory very much in Slovenia uh, witnessing somebody who's from both sides of the family parents grandparents were involved in just like his family actually worked even together in the World War II as a resistance uh, grandson how they are fucking him up all over the place and uh, he he couldn't handle anymore this was too much for him and so he started to yell and do shit to me and uh, I got into the fight with him too because I, I just cut corners when somebody started to fuck with me he was out uh, I was really nobody and nothing and small and everything but if you step on me I was really um, worse than Donald Trump and when you're really fired by the little boss that fucks you up like you're out I mean out out of the connections out of everything and the one who replaced him was my long time accomplice um that was uh marco bulls that was the brother of the yanko bulls um yanko janus bulls janus bulls was here guest all the time and so the one who replaced him was marco bulls who would continue to travel in belgrade he used me over there as a hate bait and continue to bring more and more lucrative financially lucrative contracts for Yugoslavia Eastern Europe that Kirka Pharmaceutical just when Boris Andriani started to protest to this they were just ready they just say hey it's over for you it's finished they, they send him home I mean you go home and you come back here it's nice that you're here around but you no longer can interfere in this stuff it was too much so he too had to go home but whenever i was with uh, boris andrianic in belgrade there were two companies despite his having inability to fulfill um home pharmacy that would advance one into something greater bigger he had no ability to do this this is very very limited stuff when it comes to privatized privatization and so on and um, he just uh, you know he was executive of the Kirka pharmaceutical this was the first man one of the key people who started the Kirka pharmaceutical this was the guy who actually carried around the idea and put one into you know into 
into motion. Literally, he started to somehow prowling it through through this. Uh, you know, like all other companies, you know, he was just given the money and you know started to play with this and. It was just the money was coming and then this case came and this is just it just took off it just took off uh, this was this was already company uh, but when this case opened uh, I remember Josip Bros Tito this Josip Bros Tito was just uh, extremely extremely enthusiastic about this Kirka Pharmaceutical he wanted something from the city of the novel mister where I am from to be on a picture and the Kirka pharmaceutical got wings and it took off <clears throat> just like this another one who profited just like I had another godfather like this was Levichnik Levichnik was from EMV Industria Motornik Vuzil Novo Mesto Renault what became a Renault known as a Renault um, well, I should, they should say they had me as a godfather. They too were nobody and nothing. They too were assembling something here and there. But when this came, case came on the picture, this restructured into a very, 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 very serious company with very soon French, because they didn't even have this kind of machinery to fulfill their own production requirements for their brand uh, obtaining literally machines from the Germany that uh, Germans would not give this uh, they would not even give this to the Western European countries likely and all of a sudden you have this heavy machinery coming to the city of the Novo Mesto uh, but, but through the French French were the one for this case, through this case. It was just it was just a case for the West, so big that Yugoslavia as it was, it was not a small country. Yugoslavia was not a small country, but Yugoslavia was a drop in the ocean. And it well paid to have a, such a powerful connection on the Balkans. It it was just of a too big importance. I got to play importance for the West everywhere, throughout the world. Just as I explained. So, um, one order was always for the Kirka Pharmaceutical, this was the first, and the second one was for the home store, and this is where Andrianich was always, Boris Andrianich was always, he said, now, now also for my little store, for my store, now also for me, let's try, and then they negotiated with this stuff, this was always like this. This is how things went with not only Kirka Pharmaceutical, that's why I said, because I literally survived private store from Boris Andrianich, from Andrianich family, from Mara Andrianich. I was the one through whom, I was the one through whom they, uh, they literally existed. They would exist. But there were other stores in the city that was just like Andrianich. They, they had other stores in Yugoslavia. There was other store that popped up in, in, in Yugoslavia, pharmaceutical store, that suggested you go, you don't have to go to the pharmacy, to the to state pharmacy store, you can go to Andrianich. But there was already another store in the city that was cheaper than Andrianich. I mean, there was other pharmaceutical stores that started to pop up everywhere. Now the thing is that Andrianich continued to be competitive, believe it or not, and it was not the cheapest store because it was an old brand and everybody knew this brand. Yeah, uh, but believe it or not, which is insane, they even survived after Slovenia became independent in 1991 and that's really insane. And it's insane because it, it actually that's when I really got impression about who these Andrianich people in reality are you know one thing is to be executive of the company always wearing shirt and tie and this and that that's why don't think about yourself as little whoever the fuck you are because you are not because the man 
whom you see wearing ties and I don't know what, don't think they are so, you know, as they, they try to be, you know? Um, I thought Boris Andrianic, a father of uh, Misha Andrianic, that's his son, Misha Andrianic. Um, I told him, listen, man, um, what the fuck are you doing, man? I told him. I had enough of these losers here in the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, this was a garbage that was totally, from my perspective, was a totally, totally, totally unprecedented. It was a scum of the scum that it was a fucking nightmare. It was a fucking nightmare to see this scum during MK Ultra. The times of the socialist Yugoslavia are over. I hit the fucking table in front of these people. I told them. You have your fucking pharmaceutical store. Yeah, I told them, and I need a job. We need job. We need money. I told them. Through the Kirka Pharmaceutical, things are not happening. At least for me, are not happening. And you have so many deals to go through. They continue to use me. They continue to suck me. Uh, they continue to go and they continue to make the orders through these Illuminati meetings that literally made Misha Andrianic super wealthy. This guy's fucking wealthy more than what he demonstrates. And the only thing I was doing is I was wasting my fucking time here in Slovenia for watching basically how they suck more money and so you know what in 95 I disappeared to United States of America I had enough of this road to nowhere guess what they continue to suck they continue to blood suck me continue to exploit me use me lie me uh, take me to their places take me to the Kirka pharmaceutical and blah blah and a lot a lot a lot of torture Torture that went on throughout the Kirka Pharmaceutical was bestial since my childhood. And that's exactly what those connections in Belgrade and also in Britain, in Germany, wherever they, they were selling this stuff, Russia, that's exactly what they demanded. I became a masked Slovenian whom you can torture as much as you're pleased. In fact, we're going to deliver him. Uh, a most wanted mascot, Slovenian mascot that you can just go and beat the fuck out of. So the Kirka Pharmaceutical branded itself throughout the world, throughout Europe, throughout, the, throughout uh, Russia, throughout uh, India, throughout China, uh, buying even uh, facilities, building companies, uh, buying pharmaceutical products even from India and resell and sell and back and forth. In the midst of all this, the only thing that happened was uh, they filmed me, I was told, next to the torture they participated inside, even inside of this house. They filmed me in 2013 when they came to pick me up here with ambulance vehicle and police. They filmed me from the Kirka Pharmaceutical for the British Royals uh, when they came to pick me up and throw me into the psychiatric hospital. That's all the fuck I can tell you about the Andrianich family. They are liars, they are scumbaggers, they are con artists, and they're very dangerous people. They have absolutely no human conscience. Uh, and they are grabbers, they're rippers. Uh, Boris Andrianich could not even finish the fucking school, his university, without having me involved abroad. Not even this he was capable, because he needed goodies. He needed for less, he needed more, he needed uh, more for the connections and so on. His entire case, everything he accomplished, and I think he accomplished nothing really. Everything was built literally through this case. I uh, wanted to be uh, Mark Zuckerberg number two and got married to the lady from India. <clears throat> I would not go and uh, go for Qatarded. Uh, I was against this marriage because to me the lady was simply not appealing. 
it looked like he's looking for, for the wife for me or something like that and started to demand that I have to do the same thing, that this is the way to the money and so on and this and that connections and I don't know what. But I'm just not like this. Once I'm going to make this, I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to do. Maybe I'm going to get myself 10 ladies. Maybe I'm going to get myself none. I don't fucking know, but I don't like anybody telling me what the fuck to do. You don't talk to somebody like myself at this stage now. You have no, you have absolutely no right to say anything to me about how life should look like, what life should be, about how I should be in this and that. Uh, I've met interesting people and very good people and all kinds of people and evil as fuck people. Everything I have met. Uh, and the thing is, everybody had grown up Maybe many even through the same circumstances, but uh, the thing is that I definitely was not entitled to that. So I don't think anybody has the right, other than God, to judge me about uh, how, for me, a life it shall be. You know, you should judge based on your life how, you know, how much you manage to organize your life and where you want your life to go through and how you want to envision your life. So don't try to fucking give me uh, about you. For you, for me, you're nobody. And I'm saying this to everybody in this world. You have your own story. You're good for yourself. But from my background, where I'm coming from, I've seen a whole lot and I've seen a lot of douchebaggery. I've seen a lot of douchebags. Smart ass people who even wanted to, next to the evil they created, they wanted to steer this case, they wanted to become in charge of this case by creating additional crime and resolve one through investigation of one by literally subjecting me to a uh, psychiatric hospital, again, uh, jail for even refusing to allow them and stuff like this. Listen, I ran from this country, I'm going to proudly tell you, once in 95, second time in 98, third time in 2016, 2017, all the way to Belarus because they wouldn't allow me to board in Moscow. Can you believe this shit? Insane, super insane. And one more time, I tell you proudly, in 2018, I am fucking proud of myself because you know what? I have met all the idiots, all the insanity in this world, all the scum of the scum, the kings of the scum, I met and I managed to survive them. And fucking cancer and whatever issues they have tingled inside of their heads on how they're going to crumble me and destroy me and do with me whatever the fuck they want to do. And I'd be fucking damned if Yossi Brostita that I survived, uh, Milosevic that I survived, all this scum that I survived, that you possibly cannot imagine, serial killers and war criminals, that I'm going to have people tell me how about the life should be and what the fuck I should do and what not and with whom, yes, and with whom not. Fuck this. I'm not doing that. Do I think something is wrong with this lady? No. That's his problem. Um, uh, I just didn't like when he stated to me that this is going to be first marriage. I, that's the kind of stuff I don't like. I hope for that reason, in favor to the Indian lady, that the marriage is going to be a long-lasting marriage. Uh, <clears throat> Now I can give you uh, actually the video from Mark, his name is Mark Boris Andriani. She's got three names, that's fancy. They were asking me if I don't want uh, to have the three names, everybody has it. No, I actually don't. My name is Bushtian. Uh, in the US, my name was Bob, Robert, whatever made things easier for the people. Life is not complicated.
Um, this stuff here is obnoxious. I mean, I, I somehow I cannot stand this stuff. Not because I would be envious or something like that, but if that doesn't look insane, uh, it's like it. He, he's like giving me an idea about like he's running away from something. Like he is like uh, deeply, like deeply depressed and deeply confused and deeply insane. I would say. Uh, involved in MK Ultra with the Borat Pahor with the Milan Kuchan. This is just one more apprentice. Uh, I think that this facial features, I mean, <laughs> uh, this guy's fucking mentally ill, or if he's not mentally ill, is what he gives me impression. He's ticked, I mean, I think he is ticked in his head. He's, he's definitely ticked in his head. Really, this is actually really uh, inappropriate. This is like idiot. You're, you're posing like in a public like an idiot. You can make your own. Everybody can make idiot face, I mean, so be my guest, I mean, not a difficult thing to do, I mean, like, to me personally, he envisions, he is, uh, I don't know, oh, this is a brother from, you know what this guy is, this is a brother, this is a bro from Slobodan Milosevic, this is my main partner, my main partner was this one here, uh, Borislav Milosevic. Borislav Milosevic, Moscow, Moskvich. Uh, this was the guy who was really very important. This guy, Borislav Milosevic. And this was actually the guy who brought his brother uh, to the power. The first guy who was on the political stage with me, next to me. Not with me, but one of the main people, okay, uh, was this individual here. This was the individual friend also of uh, Josip Bros Tito etc etc okay you were not my partner you were next to me he began his diplomatic career in 1970s in the Soviet Union they had him Josip Bros Tito had him in Moscow and one time he told me I know somebody that uh, he said in fact you know him when I was child, not child already, I, I was already, I don't know, phew, I, well, maybe, I don't know, right after Josip Bros Tito did, uh, you already know him and this and that, you know, yeah, and said, who the fuck is this? Uh, after Josip Bros Tito did, and said, who, who is this? Did you have somebody? Yeah, I just said, I already have somebody who's going to replace Josip Bros Tito and this and that. And I said, who is this? He said, he's my brother. It's a Slobodan Milosevic, but that's another video, that's a separate issue. And that's how Slobodan Milosevic came on, a, on, a, on the picture. Uh, I am very angry about this video here. Very, very angry I am, because he presents himself as... He had me during the recording of this video, and he started to tutor me. This, guy's, this guy, Mark Boris... Andrianich is a much younger man than myself and truly truly compared to myself a real fucking nobody uh, like completely in uh, that, that's it that's the end of it and nobody what is the nobody nobody is according to my standards an individual who have gone through absolutely anything when it comes to life when you do not contribute anything but you are trying to write to freeload yourself at your grandfather is named a Boris Andrianich and so on. You know, that's for me, that's a fucking nobody. Um, from all the deals, from all the deals that Misha Andrianich realized, that everything that the family realized for this pharmaceutical store, and they, they got deals from, literally from, I don't know, from British, Germans, whatever, uh, they got good deals. He was fucking, I don't know, Italians, whatever, crying in front of like a fucking worm for their pharmaceutical store. I got exactly a positive zero. I got a free lesson, actually, from the grandson of the Boris Andrianich, Mark Boris Andrianich, about how to behave myself, not to piss off a local people. 
uh, he goes in this video and he gives like uh, a tour about let me see this video is 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 obnoxious it simply is obnoxious he was giving me he was giving me he was giving me he was giving me like how how what you should be how you should be now let's see how that looks like oh okay Tako je, dobrodošli pri Andrijaničevih. Najlepše hvala. Prav čudovito imate. No, to pa... That's his house and uh, he presents his wife. To je moja žena Druti. Pozdravljena. Če vi jaz tako zdi? Odlično, hvala. Just not my type. Um, izgleda, da ste... Uh, then he's looking at the telephone and he's laughing, he's smiling. He had me here in this program. And he is obviously implying on my incompatibility with his Indian wife. Well, let me explain something about the MK Ultra in India. In India, I was fortunate enough. Yeah, I, I, I really did. I was fortunate enough, and I'm gonna spread, I'm gonna be a little bit rude to really fuck few beautiful ladies. Unbelievable, man. Uh, I thought I was sure that I did not get anything during MK Ultra, but in fact, in India, actually, I was lucky. Plus that, I had some connection also in the United States of America at the Marriott. There were some Indian ladies that worked that I tried. So, this guy, this is a young man, and he thinks he discovered United States of America by looking at the phone and making crazy, you know, making himself even more fucking stupid, even more rotten, even more disgusting for certain reason, to imply, you know, because he, he was sure that I'm going to be watching this stuff and I'm going to, oh, no, 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 there's no such thing here, buddy. There's no such thing here. You're going to have to come to the court and you're going to have to rationalize your behavior in front of your wife in front of the reporters and what exactly you meant by this when you had me in this university embarrass me over there and do all that stuff to me uh, because it's it's really really essential for me to understand what were you trying to say yeah you probably got paid right somebody paid you to with idea that with many like andriani she's gonna make me uncomfortable myself <laughs> uh, like I'm not in com I'm comfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. I uh, I deemed because I was drugged up that my human dignity was uh, most severely injured. That it was the most severe injury uh, was my human dignity, my my human eye that you went and you tried to like bestially rip me apart psychologically. You don't even understand what kind of charges I'm going to press against you for this stuff. And you, you are, you're making yourself... It's actually a really excellent video. For the court purpose, it's going to serve, definitely. Oh, he is, he is extremely busy. And do this kind of stuff when you have a reporter at home, uh, when you're hosting one, uh, and he comes to dedicate you a little bit time of yours because you're so fucking busy. You know, you're so busy. You're just so busy that you don't actually have a time to even meet, meet reporters. Uh, but the video itself doesn't look like this because he gives the tour of the city and he, his behavior is so artificial, so plastic. So uh, he's like uh, smiling and all this, and he's just, uh, how wonderful place, you know, and now I'm as to how beautiful everything is. Twitter, Facebook, ali Instagram. Twitter, kot vedno. Um, the questions are, what do you go and look first? Uh, Twitter as usual. Uh, would you like a tea? With a pleasure. Um, do you really need to make such a facial gestures? Uh, 
A po je, da potušam? Nažalost, mojih sosedov, ja. He is singing under the shower. Feels very, very sorry for his neighbors. Oh, wow. Ah, yeah, he definitely is ticked off in his head. Maybe that's a easy circumstance. It's happening to him. Komet pa najpogasteje. Najrej po en kol pej. Kdo pa je dal časa v kopalnici? Vi ali vaša supruga? A pa ko pravici? To pa ni težko vprašanje. Tamle vidim, da imate vajno skupno fotografijo. Res je, to so mi dva za Božič pred tremi leti. Izdelirata prav za ljubljena do šest. This is a Christmas from three years ago in love all the way to the years. Um, she charmed him, there is no secret about it, she charmed him with, with her beauty. A beauty, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is okay, this is in eye of the beholder. Seveda, šla sva na Dunaj in to je bilo 1. novembra pred štirimi leti. Four years ago, the two departed to the Vienna. Na Dunaj, no, to je pa nekaj posebnega. Kaj pa za ruka? Je bila nerovno romantična kot v kakšnem filmu? Tako je, vse skupaj zgledalo kot v kakšnem starem bolivudskem filmu. Engagement look like in an old Hollywood movie. Okay, we have a nice production album. Nam lahko pokažete kakšen... A wedding album is what we have here. No, fotografija? Seveda. Kaj pa se vam utrne v spomin, ko pomislite na poročni dan? Predvsem to, kako lepa je bila moja nevesta. Pa na... Najboljše poročno verila? Drut je bila najbolj vesela v grdlici od moje babice, ki jo je dobila od moje mame. Wow. Deva se vrni v vaše otroštvo. Kaj je bil najboljši nasled, ki ste ga prejeli med obraščanjem? Najprej to, da se kar do delo vedno poplača. In kaj ste kot otrok sanjali, da boste postali, ko boste obrasli? Sanjal sem, da bom vojak ali pa rokovski zvezni. The best advice he received, the work always pays off. Dreamed about becoming a rock singer or a professional soldier. Mimo grede, to je pa moj najljubši kauč na svetu. The best kauč in the world, his favorite. E tu ki se vedno spočijete, ko pridete nazaj v novo mesto. Res je. Whenever he comes back to the novo mesto, this is basically where he rests himself. And you can see that, by the way, on his stomach, if you look at his stomach, uh, he is poor guy working really, really hard. Na ukoj mi je prišlo, da ste bili v času šulanja resen piflar. Pa vam je kakšen predmet vseeno delal probleme? Ni bilo tako hudovno, ampak nekaj držal sem pomel slovenščino. Oh, najlepša hvala za čaj. Hvala ti. Actually, this girl is quite good looking. A bo ga nazdravila? Deva. Čin, čin. Čin, čin. Tamle vidim neko fotografijo iz šulanja na Oxfordu. Tako je. Oxford, isn't that maybe in greater than great Britain? That's like 2 minutes 53 seconds. 2 minutes 53 seconds. 2 minutes 53 seconds. Kaj prej polno zasedeni? Povejte mi, kaj ste danes zutraj najprej pogledali? Twitter, Facebook ali Instagram? Twitter, kot vedno. Kaj prej polno zasedeni? Povejte mi, kaj ste... And that very, 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 very much reminds me of his... of this kind of stuff. You know, very, very, very unpleasant... Very, very unpleasant feelings. Najlepša hvala za čaj. Hvala ti. A bo vam nazdravila? Deva. Čin, čin. Čin, čin. Tamle vidim neko fotografijo iz šulanja na Oxfordu. Tako je. To je bil začetek akademskega leta v Oxfordu. And this is where he take me to the Oxford, through the British. I already told you that the British... In the beginning of this video, I was trying to suggest you that British... Royals 
demanded basically from the people involved in it through the crime against me for me to see myself as for disapproving uh, something that who the fuck am I that I would be deciding about somebody's marriage partners and so on why the fuck would anybody ask somebody if they had the right to marry to someone what do I think and this and that this is this is your fucking personal problem this is your personal issue this is nobody else is responsible for it other than yourself and so what they did was they were they, they were using who knows how many people like this guy here to make an impression about me like the best was uh, a schoolmates who came from all over the world and that was really really insane um, they asked him here about they asked him about here uh, first students um, how do you say that uh, at the campus it's like when the students when they give you when they uh, baptizing okay baptizing in a, in a funny sense at the campus and what he answer is stuff that was done to me basically was really embarrassing for these animals obviously they're too embarrassing for the animal to even talk anything about it so what he said instead is with his fellow students uh, what he says instead is he says it was unforgettable but he skips the circumstances details what exactly was unforgivable but when we were making the movie he would interact with me and he would say but this I mean you and when I say what do you mean you mean me he would go and he would give me the background started to remind me of whatever the fuck they were doing to me I mean you needed the fucking Oxford to do this is this how they make you this place is that what the fuck you are made out of boy I could have fucking used you for the factory cleaner and I even doubt you could possibly serve that I don't think you could fulfill this. I think the factory cleaners are more suitable than you. Uh, this is a book about the Leon Stukel. This is a gymnast from the Novo Mesto. Uh, and he is the writer about this book. He was a golden Slovenian Olympian. Um, I am surprised that he is saying uh, Slovenian. I don't, I, I am actually quite surprised that he is using Slovenian. Uh, he says, a Novomesto man, not only Slovenian, but also Novomesto man. He was a golden Olympian. Um, yeah, These people gave me a lot of headache when Yugoslavia was falling apart. I can say that these people are very, very pro-Serbian. They did not stride toward independent Slovenia and were clearly oriented toward Belgrade. Not everybody is I. <laughs> uh, uh, this was this is just fucking incredible, eh? dude. Dude, this is this is fucking incredible. Hey, this was the bravest decision. He tells the reporter that he asked, she asked him, "What was the most the bravest thing you have done in your lifetime?" Well, I accepted to be a minister. Wow, man, dude, you are one of a kind. You are truly, truly, truly brave. Yeah, of course, I know you're implying on responsibilities that you assume that you're doing such a great job. Yeah, like all of you uh, and tell the people about how you were coming here and begging Milan Kush and Borod Pahar for the job. At least some 15 years for that job. So they will trust you in your bravery.
This was the most Yugo company, one of the most Yugo companies in the whole Slovenia. Now all of a sudden they try to look very different. He is sorry that he didn't got married earlier. Uh, the compliment, the best compliment he ever got is that he looks just like his grandfather. Uh, I don't see any kind of similarities between him and between the grandfather though. His grandfather looked exactly like this. This is basically what his grandfather looked like. So where the fuck is here similarity? Uh, I beat them, but I knew his grandfather very, very good. And this man does not look similar in any way to his grandfather. And when I say in any way, absolutely in any way. I mean, maybe he wanted to look like a grandfather, but there is nothing grandfather. Maybe he should try shaving and that would maybe look him, make him look maybe a little bit closer to the grandfather. Let's continue with this imposter here. He wants to play electric guitar. <laughs> and that's coming, yeah. My goodness, hell man. I don't know how old the fuck you are, but you always wanted to learn to play electric guitar. And at your age, you still have not learned to play the fucking electric guitar? That's amazing. You must be amazing talent. Fuck this, when you run me over like this, he is 41 years old. And this was recorded, when you fuck me like this. When you fuck me like this, you're gonna get back. I am nice guy, I am silent, but when you start to fuck me like this, it's gonna be a price to pay. This was... When he was at age 49 years of age, he recorded this masterpiece here. <laughs> he knows how to play piano and he speaks four languages. He speak Greek and Latin. The favorite Indian uh, holiday is Diwali. Uh, he dresses himself up, the lady asks him, uh, where are we going? Uh, and he's saying, yeah, that's right, we're going, we're going to the city. Yeah, and that's exactly the old pharmaceutical store. Uh, that's a bullshit. Uh, this is this is where the pharmaceutical store was right there. And it's out of this pharmaceutical store that the Kirka Pharmaceutical grew up. I explain how the Kirka Pharmaceutical grew up. In gledina tudo imate tako zelo radi svoj rojsni kraj. Kaj vas je prepričala da vstopite v slovensko politiko? Uh, look how he is walking. Look at him how look 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 how he how he goes and he tell this and then he walks like a king. Look at that. Pa se nahajamo zdaj le. No, ste smo pa pred našo staro družinsko domačijo. 
in v Pretiču je bila včasih naša družinska lekarna, iz katere je potem zrasla krka. In glede na to, da imate tako zelo radi svoj rojsnik, kaj, kaj vas je prepričala, da vstopite v slovensko politiko? Uh, in since you love your, uh, your homeland, your, 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 uh, your loving city, you love it so much, uh, what convinced you to step into the Slovenian into the Slovenian politic. Precej sem vstopil zato, da nekaj naredimo in da koša postanemo najboljši. Uh, I entered so that we finally can do something about it and that we become the best. Kater pa je tisti trenutek iz časa ministrovanja, ki vam je ostal v najlepšem spomenu? Um, what is the best moment uh, during your Minister Tenur, what's what's like the best you in in your memory that is during your your uh, during your stage as a minister? Rekubita naše predsedovanje Evropske unije. Ah, the presidency of Slovenia to the European Union. Jer smo takrat res uspeli narediti neke pomembnih premika. Ah, uh, it's because. When we presided to the European Union, we have managed to create some extremely important uh, moves. Obviously, that Slovenia played a very, very important role uh, during the Slovenian presidency to the Europe. Uh, obviously, that Slovenia moved Europe and the world forward because Slovenia did. You know, we did it. Do politiki pa vas je najbolj pozitivno presenetil. Uh, who in the politics in Slovenia was the one who made the strongest impression on you? Uh, the young uh, ministers from the so-called uh, New Slovenia. There is a political party called a New Slovenia. No, najbolj pozitivno so me presenetel mladi ministri Nove Slovenije, ker so res za akcijo. Because they are for the action, you know, now we look like a, like a commando, like a military, you know, we, we are for the action. It's a, it's a hard life, man, it's far away, the fucking pharmaceutical store. Ne bi bilo prav noben komitev, kaj bi bila tista prva stvar, ki bi jo spremenili pri nas? Najprej bi spremenil to, da bi koša nekaj jamrat in... Uh, what would you change? What would you change if you could change anything? Uh, what I would do is uh, I would uh, make people. I would I would stop everybody. I would stop uh, crying and uh, get us together. I have to translate this again. What would you do as the first thing if you had ability to change something in? Uh, Najprej bi spremenil to, da bi koša nekaj jamrat. Uh, jamranje, jamranje je stokanje, to je, kako bi rekel, uh, to je uh, jamranje, to je, you know, a por bi, you know, por bi. <laughs> that's what he would change, you know. That's what he would change, that's what he told me during this movie, this is what the fuck I do, you know. I love uh, me, pity me, me, poor fucking me, yeah, no, seriously. Please feel sorry for me, you know, <laughs> you know that's what I do here. Uh, that's what he would change, uh, what he would do is, he would bring the society together, he would make us all step together. His words during the video recording of this, he told me. You're only complaining. You're not happy with anything. You are dividing people. You are causing us damage. You are causing us harm. Uh, You attack this one and you attack that one. And you're talking bad about this. And you're making things worse for the people that try to help you out. Oh, Oh, man. Fortunate me, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you. And to your club. To your wonderful friends, to your wonderful people that you helped me so much. I don't know what the fuck I would do with you, without you. Uh, I'm not 39 years old, though. Uh, actually, 41 you are now. I am now, it's, get, it's getting to 53. I lost only 53 years because of you scum. Because of your grandfather, because of you scumbag. You are not going to be solving this case. 
I'm going to use you as a cannon footer. I'm going to use you at the court for you to testify for me, scumbaggery, your family involved against me, robbery of my life, buddy. Don't worry about crying. Don't fucking worry about crying. I'll teach you about fucking crying, complaining. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he would... He would, he would want us to step together, you know, that's us. That's us. That's us. That's us, because it's us, man. Because it's uh, us, it's us, it's us. And it's us because it was too difficult, motherfuckers. It was too difficult, Joseph Fritzels. You know who Joseph Fritzel is? The fucking cats and dogs in Slovenia are guilty for this shit. You use the fucking dogs, literally. Like you stated, like Germans use the German shepherds to have them launch at me. Durinem Kjolcha, motherfuckers, nobody of you is innocent in this country. To make us stronger, to make us stronger, how encouraging. My God, how fucking you're so inspiring, dude. You are like... Truly a holiday of the lights, like you said in India, they have a holiday of the lights. You're a fucking light, man. You're a fucking spark. Poor me, yeah, you know, because thanks to you, I got things done. Because honestly, if it wasn't for people like you, poor me, I don't know what the fuck I would do. Fucking loser. Uh, what exactly are you... Uh, okay, we have gone through this. Oh no, we have not gone through this. There is more about it. What are you the most proud about you have accomplished uh, as a minister? Uh, I am the most proud about the law uh, which uh, supports a digital uh, inclusion. He, he's a minister di of digital whatever fuck uh, it gives you the free uh, free lessons I don't know at the local college or whatever about the digital uh, I don't even know what the fuck that is man I don't know what is what is the dig digital Vishchina. that's uh, I don't know probably teach you how to type computer or something like that how to use the internet or something like that and he is also extremely proud about uh, uh, coupons yeah he managed to he managed to accomplish uh, coupons for the purchase of the computer equipment uh, they were given some kind of coupons for the com people to buy themselves uh, computers because obviously their salaries in Slovenia are too low to buy themselves computers <laughs> What is your main advantage in the business? Well, I bet the most on the people and not only in the business but also in the politics. Wow. Very inspirational, man. This new New Novo Mesto, new city, uh, is really wonderful. Where would you like to live the most? In the Novo Mesto city, Piran or Ljubljana? Piran is next to Italian coast, uh, in a little Adriatic coast Slovenia has. Novo Mesto is the best. We, I can, I can barely wait that with my wife we move to the city of the Novo Mesto. My goodness, uh, I'm thinking, uh, like, that's like again, what the fuck moment, uh, you know, like, Twilight Zone, like, wow, really? I mean, because, because right now, um, like oh yeah i mean right now you live in ljubljana oh okay so yeah i mean that's a far away that's a that's a tough life i mean we have a train that goes to ljubljana and back on a daily basis the people commute themselves 
And we also have Autobahn that people are using on a daily basis to drive to Ljubljana. But uh, let's just pray for the toughest moments for uh, Andrianich Mark Boris to go to pass and he with his wife will finally be capable to move to the so much wanted city of the Novo Mesto. Let's go back a little bit more uh, to abroad if we can go. Uh, what was exactly the most important lesson uh, when you work in the bar show uh, for the company known as Uber? Uh, probably that you must not stop at any kind of challenge and you must persist all the way to the end. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho man. Uh, for this shit I can only sing you the song It's a Hard Life. Uh, or maybe uh, Easy Come, Easy Go. In the team, ste ogromno že prepotovali, kateri kraj v tujini pa vas je najbolj navdušil. Teh je bilo res velik, ampak rekel bi, da silicija je dolina. Yeah, you have traveled a lot, so what city, what location, what place did made the biggest impression on you? And uh, so the genius tells us, it must have been the Silicon Valley, wow. Uh, and he was there just uh, a month earlier. Mark, hvala za ta... I uh, hugged my uh, mama, uh, sister of... Uh, sister of... Uh, uh, Mišo Andrijanič and uh, then I took her uh, to the coffee and a cafe on the main square of the city of the Novo Mesto. Uh, Mark, thank you very much for a wonderful afternoon. A čudovit popovdan. Najlepša hvala, da ste prišli. Hvala vam. Thank you very much for coming. Adio. 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 Hvala lepa. Goodbye. Always welcome. Uh, all of a sudden, we are in no hurry anymore. Now we continue to go. Mark, where the fuck are we going? It's a fucking mosquito here. I killed him. This is uh, how not to fuck with me. This is what you don't do, or you don't try to do something like this to me. You can do this to the King Charles. King, he's now King Charles. You can do this to King Charles if you want, or you can do this to, I don't know to whom. You can do this to anybody, but the place where you're gonna fuck yourself and you're gonna do the stuff like this that's exactly here here when you come to this place when you come in front of me boy and i'm talking to misha andrianic right now son of boris andrianic you fucking look it to me straight in the eyes and you talk to me like a man not like a pedo not like a fucking pedo the days of your pedophilia pedophilic shit well, your Kirka Pharmaceutical are over, boy. And this is not 2012, when I got the certificate, crazy certificate, because of you, scum. As usual, thanks for watching this video. I am going to dedicate another slap bitch to a Prime Minister, Slovenian Prime Minister, Robert Golop. <laughs> He came with a funny idea that I don't like at all. And then there is maybe one, two more like this. Uh, you just are not 
going to misrepresent me in the way you feel you're going to do you're not going to present yourself Mr. Robert Golop as somebody you're not I was the one who stood up for the European Union I remember when I was tortured for the NATO for the European Union I was ripped apart my life was ripped apart you turned here this home into Guantanamo when Slovenia became independent Slovenia had a chance to go into the European Union and into the NATO in 19 in as early as in 1992 1993 because of me I Slovenia instead have chosen Loisa Petrletic Janez Janša did the so-called opposition from Milan Kuchan will be will pay solidarity with the Czech, Polish and all others rather than departing to the European Union and NATO all by itself. So the Slovenian people have to pay a little bit more, a little bit extras. And you're not going to be fucking doing that stuff, boy, to me now. Uh, it's about the patria, 8 by 8 uh, vehicles which once they try to fuck me through the corruption they try to Milan Kuch and try to use Janus Jansha uh, they were trying to use this so-called opposition they have to purchase actually obtain yes from me so MTH for purchase of this military Okletniki this um, it's like it's like uh, it's not a tank. It's just got the tires, whatever. Not the Humvees, but whatever that is. Uh, and it was just something that had clearly demonstrated itself was a was a shithole. It was a theft. It was a thuggery, uh, with which. Milan Kuchan uh, threw the blame on his opposition uh, and of course I'm the one who okayed the transaction, that's me but who have gone in a mainstream media forum RTV Slovenia and have published under the forum about the big ass transaction corruption, scumbaggery, ripoff uh, so that it did not happen in my name and it's, I find this a Postures that Robert Golob, uh, that's a Milan coach and his apprentice student, uh, Dick Click. Uh, they canceled the transaction. They condemned Janus Jansha. They went after Walter Wolf, Canada. Uh, they found they were searching for all kinds of criminals, corruption, accomplices that were guilty of it. Of course, Milan Kuch and nobody touched him, Borat Pahar, were all innocent. With uh, Mrs. Kresal, with the Fayon. They were all innocent. Danilo Turk, all were innocent. And they were only persecuting those that were willing to persecute themselves. That's Jansha, Petrle. Uh, you know, this great Slovenian uh, pro, so called pro independence people, the so called pre independence people of Slovenia. Uh, In 2020, 2019, I had scumbag coming to me in the house next to Joe Biden and tell me in front of the Joe Biden that he will... I don't allow this kind of impostery bullshit like this. You ain't got to be fucking doing this to me. It's going to be a price you're going to pay, Robert Golop. That I was the one who published the forum very negative opinion about the Finnish Finskih uh, um, I This shit here, this stuff, whatever this. 
Finland, they're from Finland. Patria is the name. Mrs. Merkel, Mr. Macron, US government, SIA, people, they came back after I prevented corruption, scumbaggery that would go under my name to charge me with a treason, with another treason that I was the one who spit all over the Finnish for Slovenia not purchase this kind of uh, weapons at the time yes and Robert Golob who always hated with a passion European Union and NATO just like Kucha just like Dernoshek just like Danilo Turk Borut Pahor are now trying to improve this impression that I, Auschwitz Bushan, have made on the European ministers and will therefore purchase now Patria for, however, the proper price from the Finnish. This shit went on inside here the house in front of Joe Biden and in front of other politicians is cancelled. No imposture here. No scumbaggery, no backstabbery here. Not allow this kind of Boris Andrianich mark bullshit so bullshit and shit so bullshit so stuff. We don't allow this kind of stuff. I don't fucking allow this stuff. Nothing under my name anymore. Understood? This is why also this video, this is why other videos are gonna come out. I don't allow this kind of stuff. You're not gonna be fucking doing this to me. You scumbags, you fucking dirtbags. You fucking Putinistas, you motherfuckers who cooked the war in Ukraine, who caused the bloodshed of Srebrenica and bloodshed of Vukovar and bloodshed of Bosnia, you scumbag. You're the one, you are the people who did this stuff. It's because of you and you have to be brought to the justice, you need to be brought to the hawk. Because of my case, because I am part of it, and that stuff of part of it, I am part of it, nothing ended, you are liable for it, even if you buy the Patria, whatever the fuck you buy, you are responsible, Slovenian nation is responsible, to deliver this scum, to me, to hack on a trial, to get trialed, the way criminals get trial, the way the war criminals get trial, you must be punished for that stuff. I don't care what side Slovenia is going to take, in which direction Slovenia is going to go. But you're going to fucking pay. You did this kind of stuff, you're going to fucking pay for it. You're responsible for it. You need to pay for that stuff. In mi nismo pred drujinsko lekarno.